No, 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 so I want to visit a couple temples today, which shouldn't be too difficult because this town has about 500 temples. I have to get my train in another town. So I'll be traveling around a little bit. I don't have a SIM card, so I don't have Uber or Maps or anything to save me. So let's see how far I get. Now the first temple is the Sri Sri Krishna Balaram Temple or the Iskan Temple. And for me, luckily, that's just walking distance from my hostel. So let's have a little look inside. charity life in India runs very strong because after the Golden Temple also in this Hindu temple free meals are served actually they have a slogan here which says no one within 10 miles of this temple should go hungry so yeah it's something this wary traveler also gratefully likes to uh, make use of Daji Raji Thank you. Now, of course, for this kindness, there's also a way of giving something back. All right, let's find a nice, quiet place to enjoy this meal. And let's see how long I can stand here before people come, come to me asking selfies. take one selfie more people come so sort of try to mind my own business eat my food which is again surprisingly very good for free food all right time to get to the next temple so let's find a tuk tuk or something hello sir can you bring me to Mavaisi Devo Dam the Krishna? No. Yes? No. How much? Huh? How much money? Hey, Bodhi, Jana Ah, okay. Hundred? Yes? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, goodbye. Have a nice day. Okay, got my rickshaw. I'm not sure if he understood the location. I'm not sure if he agreed on the price. <laughs> Man, but uh, it's a lovely ride. Only thing about I wonder about now is that I think the ride is about five kilometers, and this man is on his bicycle. All right, people, take note <laughs> because this doesn't happen a lot. I'm cutting down on my ambitions because the guy on the bicycle didn't want to take me for the hundred rupees, which I heard is a good price. Every other rickshaw tried to con me. I was thinking of hitchhiking, but I don't speak the language, so it's very difficult to just say where I want to go. So I'm not going to this other temple in Brindavan and going straight to the next town where my train leaves in about 
two or three hours there's also a nice Hindu temple to check out so I'm just walking out of the crowded touristic area a little bit further into the street so hopefully I'll find a rickshaw for a better price so I fought my way through the fair amount of rickshaw drivers but I finally found a gentleman who has a fair price for me to go to Matara all right let's go No, 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 night, 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 no, 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 it's a lot. I mean, it's honestly really difficult to sort of make sense of everything going on here, obviously, but also like in a religious perspective. Like, on the one hand, they serve free meals, which is so awesome. At the other time, like a lot of the rickshaws try to con you. One point, like they promote like peace, we're all Krishna, we're all God. At the other side, it's just like, madness people coming in your face and not giving you a lot of space but uh, I wanted some adventure so here we are okay let's see the birthplace of Krishna all right this is the entrance let's see how far I get with my cameras and my bags I still have to uh, catch my breath a little bit from that moment, which was quite intense. Uh, yeah, I guess this also can be India in your face. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so I'm going in this temple here. I cannot bring any electronic devices, not even my phone. So I'm going to check out here and um, see the inside of this uh, birthplace of Krishna and then, of course, get back here to finish my journey to uh, the train station because I'm going to Agra, the city of the Taj Mahal. So uh, we'll take you with me on this last bit of this trip. It's already quite a lot going on. So for the last bit, I uh, can only hope they will go all right. All right, I just come from the temple. It was nice and quiet without all the cell phones. I think the best part about it was that people couldn't take a selfie with me so I got some rest as well so now I have to make my way towards the train station I'm not going that way where I'm coming from I'm afraid it'll be assaulted again by the people who want to you know give the paint on your forehead so you've like a, it's like a Hindu sign so I'm going this way where the cows are walking I think there's always a good way I didn't have it on film as well, but I just saw a cow or a bull sort of going mad, just jumping in the crowd. Like it was a, what do you call these things in Spain when they let the bulls loose? Something like that. Anyway, I'm going to the train station now to uh, make my last kilometers to Agra, the city of the Taj Mahal. Uh, Gokul? 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 No, train station. Train station. Train station? Yes. Station? Mm-hmm. Station Jana? Yeah. Can you go station? Gokul Gumna? Gokul Temple? No, no temple. Thank you. I um, need to go to the train station. 
Train. train station, yes. All right, I think I find someone for uh, to get me to the train station. Hello, sir. Do you have chai, sir? Chai? Yes? Ah, you make it fresh. Yeah. Very good. Good chai. You have some cookies as well? Yes. Cookie? Good combination. Parada, alu parada. Ah. <laughs> Very good. Danny, what? Indian biscuit. Do you have a biscuit? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Always nice to uh, kill some time with some good chai. And the good thing about India is that wherever you go, there's like these little chai tea time places where they sell chai, some biscuits, some homemade cookies. For someone only drinking tea like me, and actually also vegetarian or pescatarian. Food wise, drink wise, India is an <laughs> My god. Just doinking sometimes here. But someone loving chai, loving tea, loving vegetarian food, India is a great place to go. Don't ask me how, but uh, go to the train station. There you go. Okay. Now you what? Have a good day. Raji, Raji. <laughs> All right, train station Matura. I think you can say we had quite the adventure today. So let's finish it with a proper train drive to Agra. Looking at it. I'm not the only traveler for today. Hello. Raji, Raji. <laughs> wow. India, never a boring day. All right, look at the sign. I think I just saw mine. Gonwana 46A01. The beauty about India is that it doesn't matter where you go. Either to a temple, a restaurant, or a train station. Everywhere it feels like you're in Disneyland. Everywhere it's packed. It's like, you wonder how much does a billion people look like? Well, just come to India and you'll see for yourself. Super fast express. Okay. Time to get into the train. Still not the only one. Got a seat reservation, so shouldn't have to run hurry. But uh, I'm not. Uh, I think I'm the only one thinking about it like that. Oh. Oh. Coming through. Welcome in the Indian sleeper trains. Actually, took one of these trains the other day coming from Amritsar to Vrindavan. 
now it's just a short ride of like half an hour but they still put me one in here got some nice beds in here for night trains I don't really know why they put me in there for just like a 30 minute drive that's all right but as long as I get to Agra, I'll be happy. Sorry, can I... Uh... Sorry. Sorry, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, madam. Sorry, can I pass? Thank you. Netherlands. Netherlands. All right. Looks like I found my seat. Hello. Yes, thank you. Uh, hello. All right. Hello, sir. Goodbye, Matura. It's quite a day. Quite exhausted, to be honest, after everything I've seen. So, gonna have a relaxed train ride and tomorrow Agra Taj Mahal all right gonna get some shot eyes see you there peace